<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, uh, the boys and I are, are cleaning out fence rows, adding adding more posts where they need it, and uh, just doing a good overall winter cleaning of the fence row. Um, I hate to admit it, but this uh, particular fence row has not been cleared since, not like this, since 1999. So what is that, 22, that's 23 years. But uh, Isaac and I ran the chainsaws yesterday. Isaac went up on the hill that went around that whole woods. We got a power line that goes along the edge of that woods. And I'm telling you what, it looked like he was a beaver up there. My gosh, he cut a lot of trees down. You know, they were all four, four inches, three to four inch oak and hickory growing right in the fence line. And he cut, cut that all the way around there and then him and David stacked that in the afternoon. But uh, what we're doing here is we're adding a post in between the existing posts. So I've got a bunch of these. I'm just trying to use them up. Um, I far prefer timeless uh, the uh, the PVC post. They're just superior to these. I can't hardly get these anymore. These are solid fiberglass, but they're hard to find, and they're expensive if you can find them. Um, we ran a two-wire perimeter here, so this is actually a perimeter fence. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust this with cattle that weren't broke real good to hot wire. I would want a minimum of five wires on here, but our cattle are broke. Um, matter of fact, down there by that creek, we had wire that was probably 12 inches off the ground and they didn't go through it. But we're not gonna do that anymore. We got, <laughs> we got a little better fence now. But uh, David, you wanna talk about how you put those fasteners on? Why don't you just uh, cut one of those out? Or just take, take, yeah, take one off. Yeah. Um, and just redo it. You think just um, yeah, just it. undo it. Yeah, okay. undo it. Um, up here, folks, this uh, fence makes a corner right here. And rather than put just a normal post in here, that's a two-inch solid fiberglass rod. And you can tell it's been in there a while. But it's in the ground probably four and a half feet. It's not gonna give. And I mean, you can hook a now, if you put a log chain right down there, your truck would spin out before it moved that post. That's how solid that post is. But the rest of these are uh, foam filled and solid, one inch fiberglass all the way back to the road here. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Once you cut you a new one, just yeah, I just cut you off a new chunk. So, what we're using here, folks, to fasten these on is soft galvanized wire and. Uh, if you're using timeless posts and you want to run the wire on the outside of the post, I use the same thing. This is the same knot or connector now. So Dave is going to go through the post with a piece of 12 gauge. Okay, then you, build, you, you bend it little, around to an X. That was a little off. Try to make it even. Okay, All right. Now you got your X. Now where are you going to position your pliers at, Dave? Right on top of that X there. Right there by your thumb, okay? And then, and then it's going to pull yep. a little bit. Folks, you got to keep a tight grip on that right there where he's pushing. If you don't keep it tight, you don't get that nice X pattern. And then last one, I'm going to just slack off a little. Put one more turn. So you want three turns on it. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Now, explain now gonna, what you're doing there. What are you, what, okay. why, are you, why are you twisting well, up there for? Well, we want to tension this. And yep. right now it's still sliding loose, but to make sure nothing ever snags i'm going to bend opposite the direction i was turning okay just a little oh, there you go open it up yep so that it can move real freely there's the post can slide if you have to tighten it later if something hits it you can anytime you need to yep and then just to make it look nice bend i'm going to bend that down nothing will, will hit yep. itself on that oh yeah you got nice play in there so if a deer would run into that that's not a pinch point anymore. It, it has plenty yeah. in there. Perfect. The whole line can give. If it yeah. to. What, what do you got that drill there for? That's for if I needed to drill out any posts. So here, D 
didn't have a hole for the line, so it was about a foot down from the top one. So I just went a little offset to the side, so yep. I didn't have to go all all the way through the center of the fiberglass. Yep. Drilled it out. What size bit are you using there? Eighth inch. Eighth inch. Now, why is it important to use an eighth inch versus a quarter inch bit? Well, you're taking out. Well, there's several reasons. The biggest one is that you're. Uh, it's going to be more. It work and wear out your bit. Okay. You know, whatever your Make bit. Make it dollar. Costs. Yep. But it's also uh, destroying the structural integrity of your post. Because you took out so time. much material. That's right. You're taking twice as much material. And it's more work. Yep. You know, it's going to take you more time. You don't need a bigger hole. Yep. So an eighth inch bit will accommodate 12 gauge soft galvanized wire. That's what we're yep. using. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. Folks, don't use high tensile. You got to use this stuff right here. This is called brace wire. Uh, you can get that through uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, Orschland Farm and Home, and in Missouri, there's another store called MFA. Uh, they sell this stuff in 10 pound rolls. And it's galvanized, it's soft, it's real easy. We'll just bend that right yeah, there. Yeah, it's though. easy to bend. Yeah. I mean, high tensile, it's you can't brittle, it's hard as yeah. hard as could be. It's beautiful stuff to work with. It's beautiful. Yeah, yep. this stuff is easy to work with. Yeah. And this is high tensile, you need that to be high tensile. Yes. But that's for the line, yes. not for these. Yes. Yeah. Folks, this, this wire's been up um, 23 years. 23 years. And look at it. Well, let me get back where it's not fuzzy. Y'all see any rust on that wire? Steady it. There, there's no rust on that wire. It's 23 years. And we've cut probably 25 trees off of this particular fence over the years. And when you cut your trees off this fence, it just springs back up. So, David, why don't you run down to the truck and get our tighteners, get the... Uh, the crescent, okay, the, the, the crescent yeah. wrench, there's a little red handle crescent wrench in that bucket. Okay. And that one that's got the long silver handle on it, it's got the little forks on it. Okay, the red, yep. the, uh, the tensioner and the daisy, you want a daisy tensioner Nope, too? we've already got them in down here. Let's, I'm okay. going to go show people how we yep. tighten them. Yep. So we've got it all put back up. It's in place and now we're going to just go down there and tension it just a little bit. I'm going to show you the proper tension that I like. This is, this is just a little flabby for me. <laughs> a little bit uh, too loose. Folks, see this wire on the bottom? It's too loose. And this, this one on top is questionable too. It, it can use a little bit more. Here's the deal. If you keep your wires tight, don't over tighten it, because all you're doing is putting unnecessary pressure on your corners that you don't need to be doing. And if you over tighten it and a deer hits it, that's usually your, or even a cow would run through it or whatever, or a tree falls on it. If you get it too tight and you don't allow enough stretch in this wire to go to the ground or whatever, you're going to break it. So David's got the uh, tensioners. The reason I had him get both is I was looking down here at the creek a while ago and uh, We've got two different type tensioners on down here, and I don't like either one of them. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in the in the daisy, the daisy tensioners. But this fence was built 23 years ago. I I know they had daisies in those days, but I wasn't aware of them. And so we used what was cheap. And uh, what's crazy is the daisy. Uh, tensioner today is actually cheaper than the ones I've got on over here, and it's a much better product. So we got to climb down this bank here, baby. Do you see that over there? You know what that is? No. That's an old Model T. <laughs> it's an old Model T truck wow. that somebody hauled over to that ditch and threw in there, and the only thing left of it is the fenders now. But person could have dug that out of there 50 years ago. Hey, be taking it to the dump, right? I guess. Yeah, the old timers were pretty good about making dumps on the property. So here we've got a low water crossing. We just run, we know this is gonna get flooded. And so we don't wanna stick a piece of high tensile wire down in here. If you do, um, it's gonna get washed out. So we're gonna go up here. There's our tensioners right here. We've got the power turned off. Well, it's, no, they're the same one. I thought they were different. Okay, so you want to use that one? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> it's just a normal. There you go. 
So you got to put it down on those knobs like that. Yep. All righty. And, and engage it. And you're going to be going that direction. All right. Yeah, there, there you, we go. Now, hold on. Do you have your gloves on you? Oh, shoot. Good point. Folks, this is a great place to get a blood blister. Don't try and tighten these things without putting leather gloves on. Tell me how I know that. <laughs> <laughs> how you know it, Greg. <laughs> I've done it numerous times. Okay, there you go. Now you want to put your thumb on that as you tighten. So it can't bounce So it can't back. pop up. There you go. Now, if you'll go like this, David. Hold on a minute. Take your hand. I gotcha. And, and this one needs to go like that. There you go. I gotcha. Now he's going to tension that up. One click at a time. There you go. That's a couple clicks. No. Nope. Three. There you go. I'm, I'm watching it over here. Keep going. I still see slack in it. See us? Yeah, he's getting it. He's getting closer. We're going to go back over to that one spot that I showed you going down that hill. Oh, yeah, it's getting tighter now. Give it about three more clicks and you'll be there. All right. Okay. Yeah. I can tell. See, you still got some slack right here. Yeah. See, I've been need that. You need to straighten that. Get Let's it just... tight enough that it straightens that out. Yep. See if it'll fuck it. All right. Yep. Let me get her. People can't see what you do. Hold on. Yeah. So you, where where you got your feet here? You've got them around there. Okay. Folks, you can still buy these tensioners. I would extremely recommend the Daisy tensioner over this one. But it's, it's what's on here and it's still working. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Now let's do this other one. Yeah. That one's going to be a little trickier because it's got all this crap on it. <laughs> I don't know if that'll pull through there or not. Yeah, it is. It's pulling. You're good. I'd, go, I'd give that one about 10 clicks. Okay. It was actually the loosest of the, the mm. looser of the two. Looser of the two. Yeah. Almost can get to it. Oh, <laughs> I better just do them one at a time. If you go real quick, you just go click, 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 click. You can do that. There you go. There you go. Now you're now you're cranking. I'm cooking Crisco. Yep. Oh, get that out of your way. All right. Now that's got to be more than 10 clicks. I can feel it starting to... Yeah, you're good. I think you're I good. Get tight, yeah. Now I wanted to show people, um, folks, back in 1999 when Jan and I leased this farm, this is the lifetime lease, and we didn't have hardly two nickels to rub together. So when people say, oh, Greg, you're lucky, and you're, you're this and that. No, we wanted it really bad. And so we did with whatever we had. And this is what we had. <laughs> so that's... Uh, that's a solid fiberglass rod. And this one, actually, I'm glad I came over here. I'm going to take that out. Because that has actually grown into that tree now. So we're getting an arc. That could be uh, a short. Anyway, uh, it lasted me 23 years. And there's another one up there on that next... This next uh, tree. These are uh, actually a little bit longer. But you know, you just got to use what you have, and I'm going to show you this is what we had. We had access to this fiberglass pole. I couldn't get long ones. All I could get was these little short pieces. So I just uh, put them into that tree, and I just fastened them on the outside. And My goodness. David, you can use that as a ladder. You, that, <laughs> they're not going to get them. Oh, my word. You can climb that tree. Yeah. <laughs> I yep. Too far on this one. Yep. Yeah. He took me literally. He he got up on it. Yeah. Well, I figured down straight for you two. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not going anywhere. Anyway, that's what we did. We, you know, when you you don't have any money, you got to use what you got, and uh, so that's what we did. Today we don't have to do that anymore. But you know what? You do what you got to do to get started, and you go from there. We've got a ton of uh, rabbit hat piles. This is a very small one here, but all the way around this whole woods, the boys stacked uh, timber yesterday that they cut, and it's going all the way out to the road. So this is gonna 
really increase the number of rabbits that we have, a rabbit habitat that, that is. <clears throat> yeah, there's that old model T truck. I thought about trying to dig the, the, the grill out of there and put that in Jan's flower bed, you know, just as a ornamental kind of. But I looked at it, it's down in there. I'm afraid I'll just destroy it when I try and dig it out. But yeah, the old timers, they all had a junk pile. And usually it was down in a draw somewhere. Their, their deal was, I'll stick it in that ditch, it'll slow down the water. They were just looking for a place that was out of sight. Um, I've been on some farms that were just awful. I had Johnny spend half a day digging a hole with a bulldozer just to get rid of that stuff. I mean, it was crazy the amount of junk that people throw on their property. I mean, You say that fence looks like a million dollars? <laughs> Figured it I would agree. Easy. I would agree. It looks nice. It looks a lot better. Yeah. Nice. I wanted to go up here to this corner. That's where I started at. I want to show y'all. See if we got any slack. If we do, I'm going to have David go back down there and hit it again. About three more clicks. I'm liking what I'm seeing, though. Oh yeah, we're good. Yep. There's just enough flex that if a tree falls on it, let's just say I'm the tree, yeah, I can take her all the way to the ground. And then it just comes right back up. Yep, that'll work. Good job, baby. Thanks for teaching me. I bet. Well, this is, uh, this is the rest of the rabbitats. They're all the way down along this creek. And so there's going to be uh, <clears throat> rabbits, mice, songbirds, build nests in there, whatever. We could have burned all this, but then you just put more carbon in the ear. I'd rather leave it here and have a critter build a home in there and have have a little habitat you know it is going to slow down the wind I and mean, when you get a, a hard wind through here it's also a, a good wind structure so with that i'm gonna go ahead and sign off i heard uh, isaac and connor they're coming in from the other direction my gosh they're already up there and uh, we're going to get started on another project y'all take care and we'll see y'all down the road and hit that subscribe button on the way out i appreciate it thank you all